So I want you to understand. I'm gonna shoot the bro. That you should know how to live life. You should understand life. You should understand life. So that life will not force you to leave your body. So that life will not force you to leave your body. Life will not tell you that I want to leave you. So that you will not be able to leave your body. So that life will not force you to leave your body. So that life will not force you to leave your body. Because if you understand how to live life, you will understand that life has predicaments. And these predicaments will not become an issue to you. It will not become a stress to you. Why? Because you understand that this is how life is supposed to be. If you find people who try to say goodbye to life through committing suicide, killing others, so it's those people who don't understand how to live life. They just find themselves in life, in this world, but they don't understand it. So in that way now, <coughs> life starts not understanding. Life starts also not understanding. That's why you find some people say, I have a blood pressure. I have stress. I have sleepless night. I want to kill myself. This is how it started. This is how it started. There is no way you can live in this world. Yet you want to live like you are in heaven. This is not paradise. Hell, heaven is paradise. Hey guys, so paradise. We are living on the ground, or let me say, on the soil that is already cast. So we have to get to the balancing one. So every day we are fighting with those cases. Me and the people cast you, or to have to live from nothing more. Believe that you are not in heaven. Believe that you have to face predicaments every day. You find somebody, if that, that person doesn't have money in the pocket, have blood pressure. Everyone can see that this person doesn't have money today. Even everyone become your enemy now because you're just stressed because of hell. Na nuba peli ne peli ka tonzi poye mo la so dani sisu na shi maru. Just because you don't know, everyone can see. Mo la se ke we ni maru wa ke se mo to si mo li kire na. Ever try to speak to you? Ke se ko ta ka ke ta ko pusa na ane. This is like an irritation. O pa fe ke te ko ni kire na. Accept life. Tambo la konga la mignyo. That you are here, we do not have in this world. More you know, that's full of cases. We are demanding full of war. We are demanding full of diseases. We are demanding full of attack. We are demanding full of disagreement. We are demanding full of trouble. Understand it. So you can go and learn how to live it. The people of Kenya are not going to be in my shoes. Learn how to accept it. The people of Kenya are not going to be in my shoes. Learn how to overcome it. The people of Kenya are not going to be in my shoes. So you should understand that every time you should face this one. He had to pass by. He just walked out. Uh, he just walked away. Una nego shuta kuchia ni sifimbo to sake nege shongwe ni kopeka jo. Oa pita poi kieta wengine poi kuchia. 
Don't try to look at it, follow it, so that you feel like it's not moving. No get that bala u karabo hutala tu ulando na mesio o puma ni mata wendi ta wendi. Look at it, know that it's what now. Hutala ke unesiva kuta kuta upiti kwe kwenda kwe. Another one is coming. Now kwa wata ulando la is walking away. Ta upiti kwe. That's how is life. Onga la mnyeshi na kala. Whether you go to UK, you go to Canada. Come to Africa. It's the same. Every continent we have our unique predicaments. If you look at Canada now, everyone was running to Canada. Canada now is very poor. Canada now is very poor. People are suffering in Canada. And that money from Canada. So now it's, it's, it's a challenge for you to go to overseas. It's a challenge. So it's not a plan of God for you. You go there, you suffer. I see people who are living in overseas, but they are demanding money from Africa. Ndavona vana vili kwa njia mafutasi na tanga tata puli mara kwa Afrika. Yao pumi ya dunia food. Kwa fele gea ni nasi sokoli, sokoli ya. That is very difficult for them to come there, to come down. Asiko si juu ni kuvu, upo baro kile kiumbu. Because they have this title of a sinner. Mla sebeno, eifana tayi fana kuchavu, beli mbaje ilong. Everyone you know, they left to Obasia. They are living a good life of Obasia. Because when they are there, they wish all of us we want to go there. Because when they are there, they are there. They wish all of us we want to go there. Because when they are there, they wish all of us we want to go there. Because when they are there, they wish all of us we want to go there. Because when they are there, they wish all of us we want to go there. To buy up from Africa. We have peace in Africa. To not be in Africa. We are dealing with our own demon in Africa. Ah, to not be in the demon that we're in Africa. We are battling with our own witches in Africa. Ah, to be far out of it, to be in Africa, because we know very well how they fight. Mola se te va si va na ngi halalu. We know the tactic of our witch doctor in Africa. To si na ngi halu indeed. So we know the time that they attack us. But to see if you want to get it, if you take me to Asia, you want me to suffer. They might be going to ask you what I'm going to do now. Eh? Because angels, they know me, my altar in Africa. But as soon as you get to see, you're going to get to see the altar in Africa. My destiny in Africa. The future of Africa. Eh? If you take me to Asia, they might know the angels that to guide you. Some of you, you run to Africa, which are to UK or to Overseas. Ah, you left your angel behind. Some of you, you run to Africa, to UK or to Overseas. You left your angel behind. But I'm not particularly going to come after you. Go to it and feel angry when you come to Africa. Because it's not the will of God. More than six years ago, you did not pray enough. You know, I didn't ask for one. You did not wait for God to answer. You know, they are coming to you, my boy. So we are going to read. At what time is it? It's after seven. The seven. Luke chapter six. Luke chapter six. We are going to read from the twenty. And the gospel from the book of Luke chapter six. Until twenty-three. Yeah. We are going to read from the twenty. So our title for today. As you are listening to me now. Good. What is your key? That's the question we are going to be. Where is your key? Sometimes in life, many people they don't have, they don't know you. They have their key. If people in May, I'm not a poor guy. I'm not a good guy. I'm not a good guy. Everyone is supposed to have your own key. Yes, you know, when I go to my shop, you know, to unlock the best. You pay too little, you pay too little. So, let's read. Psalm thirty-seven. Psalm thirty-seven, twenty-seven. Can you pull up Psalm number nine hundred and ninety? Obviously, yes. Only yes. 
So here the Bible says, don't look at the short way. When people are running to a shortcut, look at them. Because in the shortcut, there's no future. Everything you get there is terrible. Because you are ignoring the process. The process is very important more than the product. If you want to make him hungry, if you want to cook him you have to follow the process. If you use a shortcut, it will be something else. So you know the process of everything. Yet you want to be more smarter than God. To follow the shortcut. To create the shortcut. Hallelujah. Are you here? Eh? Viewer, are you watching? Today I don't want to greet you. Because if you are not fine, I will fix it. That's the reason why I don't want to greet you. You understand it or you don't understand it? Eh? If you are not fine, if you are not fine, I will fix it. So there is nothing to complain. Eh? Even for us to do the work of God, first of all, we have to receive the work. And you wait the work to produce fruits. What is the fruit? The grace of healing. The grace of deliverance. The grace of peace. The grace of communication of the relationship of the Holy Spirit. Because if you don't understand the Holy Spirit, then you will not know how to help people who are sick or who are in problems. So, honor the process. Many of you will find people that are opening bars to do business. Follow them. So you forget your destiny. Because you don't have your key. You are using somebody, somebody else's key to open your destiny, to unlock your destiny. And this is why you are complaining today. If you have your key, you just open your room. Eh? You will not run to somebody for help. Some of you, you are complaining that you don't have a job. 
You are complaining that you don't have a job. But the problem, you mess up from the beginning. You did not follow the beginning. You are supposed to follow your way from the beginning until you reach or you wait a time to harvest. So when you were in your way of your destiny, you look at what others are doing and you try to copy and paste. That's why in the middle of the day when you were waiting for the harvest, you have nothing to harvest because you copy. Every time something that you copy, it will not last. It's not genuine because you copy. Whether you believe it or not, the copy will not be genuine. Because sometimes when you copy, you are even using a shortcut. Later on, you create higher blood pressure. Because you don't see what you expect to see. Some of you, you will lose the key of your marriage. Because you just seen all your friends they get married first. From there, you run like a donkey looking for water. You want to reach doctor. So you will look for marriage from which doctor. Later on, it will not turn what the way you expect. Some of you, you, we, you run and put charms in somebody's office. Yet you don't know that this person is connected to Divine Salvation Teacher of Orange. Where there is an anointing that does not even test a drop of water. So you came out of it. So what you expected somebody to go through, you went through for it. Because you cannot tell of everybody that you see. So some people are covered. Divine anointing. So you can tell of which doctor, maybe. But lots of people who are connected to the anointing. You will be troubled. If you take out that person and that person fall down and break their anger, so you, you are not going to break your anger. You never walk. Which doctors and witches are trying to keep me? Every day we hear the noise. Every day. Maybe you don't. Because they are preaching, they are watching. Yes, they don't want to receive. Because they think they are more stronger. 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 Because you look at my 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 church leaders, eh? They have this messy that they can even give snake food. I don't have time for that anymore. I have been preaching like a mentally man. But people they don't want to listen. They don't want to throw away their snakes. They don't want to throw away their chumps. So this mercy of giving snake food, it comes strong so that it will bite you. Ah, it's not right. It's not right. Because this witch doctor, Jesus Christ used to say, eh, Lord, forgive them because they don't know that what they are doing. 
So uh, let me do like what the apostle was doing. They say perish with your money. You know this witch doctor wanted to buy power from them. Say you perish with your money. God, we are with you, man. Yes. Now it's to us time. It's to us time for apostles now. It's not more time for Jesus Christ. This is time for apostles. Yeah, I will not die for you on the cross. Yeah, if you want Jesus Christ, who say, Lord, forgive them, they don't know what they are doing. Go and ask him. Not yes, me I have been seeing your witchy people and witchy me. Mm. You have been trying to witch me. I know. Every time I want to sleep in the house, I see you at my gate. And you still want me to pray like Jesus Christ. <laughs> Father, forgive them, they don't know what they are doing. They come Monday after Sunday and beat them. They come Monday, they come Tuesday, they come Wednesday, they come Thursday. They don't know what they are doing. Me, I'm not Jesus Christ, I'm an apostle. <laughs> Because you have any in Namibia doing what you want. <laughs> because you have seen that bishop they cannot do anything. They just say, hey, eh, let, let the grace of God go with you, all of you, even the witch. <laughs> and you buy them cars. So that they will keep quiet. So that they will stop fasting. It's no longer this time. There's no more bishop here. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. Those witches from abroad, tell them, witch doctors and witches, tell them to start paying their fees. Otherwise, in time they are going to go back to their countries. They will no longer know what to pick because it's no longer going to be easy. So start to be more strong. We will not be disrespected in our country. Yes. There is no true man of God. Because all the pastors they are saying, I want their seed, I want the offering. So that I pray. So means there is no money, the person cannot be doing do deliverance one on one. Not me. Amen. 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 So I can do the job the way. Whether I met a poor or a rich man, need help. Very easy. Yes, I don't need my money. Yes, I don't need my money. Jesus Christ, He paid all. Yes, we So what to do is just do the job. Amen. Yes. Just to do the job. Yes. There is so many people you meet me one on one, they are telling me how much can I give you? I have this problem. I said, Madam, you can't pay. Go and pray and ask Jesus Christ. You can I cannot even tell you how much to pay. You can't. I'm not your employee. I mean, you should lay long away. Yes, look at me, baby. Go and right. pay your people who clean in your house. Look after them, but how about the money? Not me. Hand. So me, I know my job. I'm on the show. Let me be paid. You need to work with your people. What about people who don't have money? On guy, we need one more money, man. Hmm. Like Jesus Christ sending to me. 
you don't have money. How can I help you? If you, you are saying because you have money, man of God, how much can I give you? This is the burden. We are tired. You don't sleep in this house. You don't sleep. Oh, if you have money, buy chairs. Look behind you there. People are sitting on this traditional chairs. Traditional chairs. Let you know. Fire one. So people are sitting on the stick there. If you look at behind me. Look, look here, look. Let me see. Look at what's happening there. Look. Look at the people how they sit. Look. Hmm? Yeah? Can you see? You don't know what is outside. You are inside. Look. Now. Look. So get ready now. To put your money there. So, ask, so that we go and buy chairs. Don't ask me how much you pay. Put the money there for chairs. Tarit, tarit, tarit. Look at those sticks. Tarit, chair. Look at those sticks. Can you see those sticks? Me, yeah, I don't need that money. That money is needed there. Look. So, you can give offer this better. So that we do something. So that we do something. If Jesus can tell you how you can pay me, you will not sleep. You will not sleep. Because you are going to complain now. Where can I find all this money? That's why you want to prove to you that you can't pay that man. Me, I can stay the whole month eating the bread. But you don't have money. Can you see the whole month eating the bread? Can you see the whole month eating the bread? Can you see the whole week sleeping somewhere like that? Can you see the whole month eating the bread? Can you see the whole week sleeping somewhere like that? Can you see the whole week sleeping somewhere like that? Can you see the whole week sleeping somewhere like that? That's why you're sleeping nice. That's my job. Where is your job? It's to fix that. Eh? That's your job. That's your job. Amen. That's why you are so strong going to work. Amen. Yes. That's why you are still strong going to work. Imagine you are still alive. Ask yourself how. So that's our preaching for today.